This garden itself was established about 20 years ago before the statue was first dedicated. Uh, in fact, it was back on June 1st, 1940, that the gardens were officially opened here, this one, under the leadership of the United Ukrainian Organizations of Ohio. We are happy to have the president, the current president of the uh, organization with us today, Mr. Ihor Yachun. Most Reverend Bishop Bura, Reverend Clergy, Honored Guests, Congressman Kucinich, ladies and gentlemen, as the President of the United Ukrainian Organizations of Cleveland, it is an honor to welcome you today on this beautiful and what was promised to be a sunny day to one of Cleveland and Northeast Ohio's true treasures, the cultural gardens. It was suggested at its inception that one of the inscriptions at the entrance of the gardens be, to paraphrase Dante, leave hate behind all ye who enter here. And this was truly the hope of the association that in 1925 became the Cleveland Cultural Garden Federation. Their aim was to foster the spirit of goodwill and fellowship and to weld harmony amongst, amongst Clevelanders of diverse origin and to promote good citizenship. And so in this great and noble calling, the United Ukrainian Organizations of Cleveland the Coordinated Council of Clubs, Societies, and Organizations for the purpose of encouraging cultural, educational, and welfare work among Ukrainians in the greater Cleveland area, developed this beautiful Ukrainian section of the cultural gardens. The work was completed in 1939, and by proclamation of then Mayor Harold Burton, June 2nd, 1940 was designated for the formal dedication. Over 8,000 people gathered that day to dedicate and welcome the Ukrainian cultural gardens into the family of nations represented on these grounds. Entering the gardens, one would gaze upon the stone and iron gateway upon which the Ukrainian symbol of unity, the Trezu, or the trident forms the top of the archway. The gateway used to bear bronze reliefs and plaques of Ukrainian heroes, rulers, presidents, and cultural icons. The bronze busts and statues that adorn the park were created by one of Ukraine's foremost masters of Ukrainian art and one of the founders of Cubism, Alexander Archipenko. Here we find Knyaz Volodymyr Veliki, Volodymyr the Great, so named for bringing Christianity to Ukraine. Ivan Franko, poet, patriot, and folklorist. Taras Shevchenko, Ukraine's bard, and beloved by all Ukrainians. And of course, Lasha Ukrainko, Ukraine's foremost poet and playwright, which in this year we celebrate the 140th anniversary of her birth. Today, on One World Day, which has been celebrated since 1946 and espoused in the ideals that inspired the United Nations, we have gathered to rededicate and bless the statue of Lasha Ukrainka. Mother Nature and neglect had done its work, and the statue was weathered, and some say truly sad looking. Thanks 
to the dedication of the Ukrainian National Women's League of America, Branch 8, and the hard work of these women led by their dedicated and inspired president, Mrs. Doja Krislata. They took upon themselves this monumental project of not just restoring the, the, uh, the statue, but of also of restoring the walkways and the park in general to its previous beauty. Thank you, ladies, for your hard work and dedication. The Ukraine community and the Cleveland Cultural Gardens are truly blessed and owe you a debt of gratitude for your dedication for this truly inspired project. And I would be remiss in not pointing out that in today's political environment in Ukraine, President Yanukovych should take a lead from these fine women and truly dedicate himself to restoring Ukraine's historical and cultural heritage. Unfortunately, in, today, in Ukraine's political climate today, this does not happen. And, you, and Ukraine's historical and cultural heritage is not promoted, nor are the ideals of Ukraine and every other civilized country. And instead, we have a regime that is corporate, uh, co corrupt and morally bankrupt and pursues policies that enrich the few and persecute their political opponents. We, the Ukrainian community of Cleveland, the United States, and the community of Ukrainians that are scattered across all countries of our diaspora, call upon our elected representatives to condemn these actions of the Yanukovych government. And to heed the words of Franklin Roosevelt and follow the guiding principles that guided this country. The freedom of speech and expression, the freedom of worship, the freedom from want, and the freedom from fear. And it's with these guiding principles, we welcome the newly sworn in citizens that will be embarking today upon their journeys as Americans. God bless America and long live a free and independent Ukraine.